Hi guys, this is the Lumpshire 2 here today with a video for you of how to transfer a file from the Xbox Windows 10 version of Grounded to the Steam version of Grounded. This may be important for some people that want to transfer over to Steam from Xbox. If you do have a PC, you can use the Windows 10 version, but I prefer using the Steam version. So this is only one way from Steam slash Xbox, from Windows 10 slash Xbox to Steam. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you here. I have this little playthrough here. Right, This is one that I've just done. And we've also got my main two here. So what we're going to do is we are going to close out of this playthrough here for you. And we are then going to open up the Windows 10 version. It is slightly different for me personally I have both so I can play with people that aren't on the PTS version of the game and people that are on the PTS version of the game. Because I like to play on the public test server I can play separately. That is very loud. We are going to turn down audio in one second. Let me turn that down my ears quickly. So what we are going to do here is once all this booting has gone by I'm going to quickly turn this audio down. Give me two seconds. We're just going to completely mute everything for a second. I can put all this back up a little bit later on. Right, there we are. So, sorry about that. So, as you can see, this is the hot and hazy update, of course. I am on the PTS on my Steam version of the game because, as I said, I play on the PTS. Some people don't like to, and I don't mind playing with people that aren't on the PTS. I've got a lot of people that don't like to play PTS, and I also quite like playing with them. So, it's a nice, easy way if you want to transfer a file over as well. So, what we have here is, as I said, that's the world that we've just transferred over beforehand. So, what we're going to do is we're going to close out of that. We're going to quickly make a new game. Let's say hello to Max. Max is going to be with us today. He's always good. So, as I said, this is very, very useful for people that want to transfer a file from the Xbox to their PC. But as I said, this is only one way. You cannot transfer it backwards again. So, as you can see here, what we're going to do is we're going to run all the way to the analyze station. We're going to pick up a few things just so we can analyze them. There we are. So as you can see, I've got a rock, a sprig, and some plant fiber. So we're going to analyze at least one of them. There's a few ants. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into here. As you can see, we've got a few things here. So we're going to quickly analyze this one thing here. Just so we can see that I do have it analyzed. This then shows that it isn't transferred over later on. So as you can see, this is what we have here. So we are then going to click escape click quit don't click super quit because it will completely close your game and it will remove your save and it won't save it so when we click back into single player continue you're going to see up here there is some numbers or letters or whatever it is it says playthrough dash for me it is 0725 all of these have them as well as you can see so on this one we're going to click for file export or export save and what this is going to do and this is going to tell you where your file is saved to and what it's saved under so for me mine is under save game exported to so this is where it's going to be exported to it's going to be under my c drive under user marcus which is personal for me yours is always going to be personal for you so let's say your name is billy bob it's going to be under billy bob and you've also then goes under save games grounded windows 10 exported which is going to be very very useful for you later on you've also got this big line of text just here this is telling you the game saved code so basically what that's telling you is that is the code that the game is saved for and then underneath that you have your file save for your world so you have for me ID dash zero seven two five whatever the rest of that is dash lock out. So it's always going to be this bit here, these 
four at the beginning that you're going to want to pay attention to. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the Windows icon. We are then going to type this PC, go into this PC, under C drive, under user, as you can see, I'm following what it says just here. So under Marcus, under game saves, if it wants to move, there we go. And then it's going to be under, as you can see there, Windows 10 exported. That's the big long code just there. As you can see, we're going to then click into that. And then here is where it becomes important. So what we are looking for is these first numbers here with the ID dash. So we're going to try and find that one just here. I've got eight files here. So as you can see, it's this one just here. So if I highlight this one here. So ID dash 0725. ID dash 0725. We are then going to copy that. After that, you can close down Grounded. You don't need Grounded open anymore. Then we're going to go back on ourselves. We're going to go to Saved Game. So the Grounded Windows 10 exported is the Windows 10 slash Xbox version. If you do go from Xbox to Windows 10, it is automatically saved to the cloud. It's saved to the same account. Steam and Windows 10 are two separate games individually. So they don't cross save over but you can transfer the files which is what we're doing today so what you're going to do is you can click into grounded this one here is the steam version so when we double click into that these are the files that i have open here so all we're going to do is we are going to right click and then we're going to paste it in it's going to show up highlighted down at the bottom here and it's going to be the same one as before so what we're going to do is as it closes down we are then going to open up Grounded here. And once it loads up, I will show you then what we're doing with it. So as I said, this can be very useful for those, let's say you've been gifted the Steam version of Grounded and you want to transfer it over, or you prefer the look of the Steam version or whatever, you can do that. But as I said, if you're going from Xbox to PC, you're best off with Windows 10 as it does just cross save straight over. Unfortunately, PlayStation users cannot get grounded because it is only an Xbox and PC thing. So when we click into single player here, click into continue, as you can see, I've got this playthrough, which is again, playthrough dash 0725. We're gonna click into that and it is gonna be the same thing yet again. So once it loads up, I will show you, we will have one sprig, one stone, one plant fiber, and the stone will be analyzed, and the plant fiber and the sprig won't be. So if we click in here, plant fiber, sprig, unanalyzed, it still needs to be analyzed, and the stone isn't. And that's all we have in here, in this world. So for those of you which this helped, please feel free to leave a like on the video. And if you did enjoy it, also leave a like and subscribe as well. But this is my first video. So if you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment to say what I can improve on, what you'd like to see on the future and what I've done well, just so I can get some feedback on it would be a great help for me. So thank you very much for watching. And this is the Luncher 2 signing out. Thank you very much and goodbye.